In this video we are going to have a look at how we can use Gulp in order to combine all of our JavaScript and CSS files together and export it as one as a single file basically. Now gulpjs.com is where you want to go and if you click on this try it now button it will redirect you to the github repository and you will see obviously the getting started section. Now the first thing you need to do is open your terminal so if we quickly do this so terminal and in your terminal as it says here if first of all you need to install gob now you will be able to use this npm command as long as you installed node.js on your machine as I've, uh, as I've asked you to do in the first video this without node.js you won't be able to use this npm command so please make sure that you obviously install on your computer first now I have already gob installed so I don't have to run this specific command uh, but if you if it's your fresh installation obviously of node.js and you haven't installed gob yet make sure that you either type it or copy it and and paste it in your uh, terminal hit enter that will install it for you now the next thing and now uh, i'm going to navigate to my project i'm in my uh, home directory basically at the moment so i need to navigate to the desktop so cd uh, desktop and then my project is inside of the switch directory if i hit enter and now if, if i do pwd to check the path to my project that's exactly what i am and if i do lsal to check the list of the files inside of this folder as you can see obviously don't worry about this starting with the dot because they are invisible files the hidden ones so we don't see them in the in the editor we have the css images index.html uh, and js folder which we've created earlier and if i just clearly quickly clear the uh, the console uh, you just do it with command k on a on the keyboard on Mac uh, and now next one we want to install gob for our project so as it says here in the documentation step 2 npm npm install and then to hyphen save dev live website doesn't need gulp it's just for the production environment and then gulp hit enter and or return on your keyboard and that will start installing the gulp into the one of the folders which uh, this command will create if i just clear the screen if we navigate to our editor you'll see that we have a new directory here now node underscore modules and this is where all our node uh, the js modules will be installed now gulp is only one thing that we need we also need some other modules so let's quickly navigate to uh, the other website which is called npmjs.com npm is a package manager for javascript something like a composer for php for instance and the package we are interested in is uh, is called gulp uh, underscore sorry gulp hyphen uglify is one of them so if we click on that one this one will basically what it does it minifies files with uglify.js and it gives you some some usage examples here as well okay how to install it it simply gives you the command here straight away so you can simply copy it again if we go back to the terminal uh, paste it hit return on your keyboard and that will install it as well and if we once it's installed give it a few seconds there we go that's done if you clear the screen go back to the editor you'll see we have another folder now gulp uglify so all these will be added we've got gulp we've got uglify now the next one is gulp concat so we go in uh, to uh, to the npm website and we can look for gulp hyphen concat there we go this is the one we're interested in and again if we scroll down we've got some instructions here obviously how to use it installation is the same for every single one of those packages so i'm just going to go back to the terminal and simply move uh, my arrow up to use the previous command and i'm just going to move this across and just provide the name of the package i want to install gulp this time is concat hit return and this will be installed as well once this one is installed there's another one the last one we actually need for our project which will be an again arrow up to get bring the last command in it's going to be called gulp hyphen css to minify our css files so now once this is installed and it is now we can uh, move back to our editor and the first thing we need to do is to create as you can see all these directors for these uh, modules have been added inside of the root of our project we are going to create a new file javascript file and we are going to call it gulp 
file. You have to have this file in order to run Gulp commands, basically. This is the one that's going to be fetched by Gulp, and then all the, the, the code that's inside of this file will be executed and, and basically will do its job. So we start with the variable Gulp, and we associate the require uh, function with it. And what do we require? We require Gulp, first of all. So this is the first one that we're going to require. Let's copy this one and rename the variable to uglify. And we simply require gulp hyphen uglify. Okay, let's duplicate this one. Next variable will be called concat. You can name these variables whichever way you want. We're just going to refer to them later on. So gulp concat. And again, we create another variable. Let's call this one uh, CSS min. And for this one, we need gulp hyphen CSS. Okay, so now we are going to start with the first variable, which has gulp instance associated with it. So gulp, full stop task, and we are going to give this task a name CSS. So within this closure, because after the comma, we are going to put the closure, the anonymous function, and then semicolon after all this. For this task, we are going to basically combine all of our CSS files together and create just output them just as a single file. So let's quickly have a look at our CSS folder. All of them are sitting inside of the CSS working and then we have all three of them here. So we are going to start with gulp.src and then two brackets and two square brackets because it's going to be an array inside of which we are going to provide a path to these files. So we start with in between a single double quotes, full stop for a slash, you remember before when we were uh, discussing how to appoint to the files, uh, CSS directory working. And the first one we want to use is normalize, normalize.css. After this one, we want to include uh, CSS working foundation dot CSS. And then we have CSS working up dot CSS. So these are all three files that we want to combine together. Now to combine them together, first of all, to concatenate them together. In other words, we need to use the full stop after all this, and then pipe function. And inside of this function, we use the concat. Uh, and now we pass the name of the file that we want to uh, export it to. So I want this file to be also named app.css. And after this one, another pipe. And uh, this one, we are this time we are going to use CSS min module and the brackets. So we are minifying this, this concatenated files together. And then pipe, we are specifying gulp dot destination so d e s t and we want to save it to css directory straight into it so it's basically going to be css and then we're going to have up uh, dot css here so this is the first task this is for the css and i'm just going to indent it also it looks a little bit cleaner okay so that's the css tax we can uh, now we need to basically create the task the default task uh, for our gulp file so gulp dot task and then default if you if you won't include this default you're gonna have problems there will be errors so you need to have this one and inside of the brackets for the second argument for this default task we are going to specify which tasks we want to execute as default so by default at the moment we only have css tasks so we're going to pass it through and now if i open the terminal and if i simply type in gulp hit return look what's going to happen it was very quick and if we now go back, look at our CSS folder, you can see we've got app.css. And if we open this file, it includes the normalize, it includes the foundation, and it also includes our app.css files. You can see we switch wrap everything. So everything's been combined together and it's been minified. So you can see a very easy way of basically minifying all the output, basically well, all the files that you want to have, uh, CSS files. You can do this as well with SAS, uh, JavaScript, uh, CoffeeScript, and many, many others. Okay, so this is our CSS tasks, and this one is working already. Next one will be for the scripts for our JavaScript uh, uh, files. So go up again, and we're creating a new task. And this time we are going to be dealing with the script, so we call it scripts. You can call it whatever you want, basically, but it's, it's entirely up to you. But obviously, it makes sense scripts for JavaScript. So function, 
And then inside of this closure, I'm going to semicolon at the end, we can straight away pass it as a second item of this array for the default task. So script, we also want to run when the default task runs. And then gulp.src in between a bracket, then square bracket, we start with the files again. This time we are combining JS, Angular, uh, JS, I think it was folder. Let me just quickly check. So we close the CSS, Angu no, it's just Angular without JS, the folder. And the first file we're going to include is going to be uh, angular.js. Then if I duplicate this line, it's going to be Angular hyphen cookies. And now I want only these two for the time being, because I want to have libraries separately from the code, which I'm actually using later. So I'm just going to create a few lines. Okay, so this is going to be just libraries. So if I have, let's say if I was using uh, jQuery or anything else, I would add it here as well. See, we don't need this come after the last item in this array. So again, same thing, it's going to be pipe this time. Uh, concat and we are concatenating, every, uh, concatenating everything and we want to call this file lips for instance for libraries.js then another pipe this time we are going to uglify it which is basically going to minify javascript this uglify module is for a minifying javascript and then we have another pipe and this time we go for gulp destination again and we want to save it to our JS directory. So inside of this directly under this JS directory, we should have lips.js file. Let's quickly run the gulp. So back to the terminal, run gulp from within the root of our project. And it's compiling everything together. Okay, so that's now done. And there we go. This is our lips um, file, which now contains Angular and Angular cookies. So both of these files are inside of this one minified all ready to go. Okay, so that's one of them. Now, if we create another, uh, gulp.src, again, square brackets for the files, and we are going to this time use JS, and we're going to go for modules.js as the first file. Then we want to include all of our services, so JS services. And now, as you may remember, services has also subdirectories. And if we had any other subdirectories, we would like them to be automatically included. So what we're going to do after the services, once we got to this path, to this folder, what we want to do is use two star symbols to indicate there might be subdirectories, basically. And then name of any file, uh, the file name may be anything basically but it has to have the .js extension so if we can have multiple subdirectories and the file name might be anything as long as it's uh, ending with js so if we include it here let's say a css file i don't know why we would do it but if we did then css file would be excluded because it doesn't have this .js extension okay so we have all of the services that we're going to add there after services we also have di directives so direct there we go. And after directives, we also have, have controllers. So controllers. So that will include all of the files that we're going to be working with. Okay, let's again indent it here. And again, let's use the pipe for it. And we start with a concat. And the name of the file we, which we want all of these to be combined into will be simply app.js. Then another pipe. And now if we do you Glify again to minify all our JavaScript files in the pipe. We're going to go for gulp.dest for the destination, and destination will simply go be our JS folder. So we should, in just a moment, when we, when we run the, the gulp again in a terminal, have the app.js file here. So let's quickly have a look at our terminal, run the gulp again, hit return. So everything is being processed. And in just a few seconds, we should, there we go, it's all done, back to our editor. And as you can see, app.js, which includes our module file, obviously content of our module file, because the, all the other files, obviously all the, our controllers, directives and services that don't have any any content yet. As you can see, everything has been minified. The names of the, obviously, arguments, everything has been, obviously, uh, changed to single letters. Um, as minification works basically okay so we've done our gulp file we are now ready so let's quickly go back to our index.html and amend everything so rather than having all these inclusions here the three lines of css all we have to do is change it to css app.css as this file 
contains everything that's inside of this working directory and it's all minified ready to go okay so that's for the um obviously for the css for our script we are we need to include libraries libs.js and then the code which is running on, on off of this library so the first one we change into angular to js uh, and then libs.js and then the second rather than modules this time is going to be app.js and that's all we ever will have to include in this uh, file basically so as you can see only three inclusions here rather than a bunch of let's say 10 of different files separately included some of them minified some not so obviously you can you can see the benefit of the performance we're gonna basically gain from this um, from using gold basically okay so that's everything about the gulp we're going to be using um, throughout this course because obviously every time we go into add functionality to this function they will have to be again combined together and minified to obviously have the all the functionality inside of this app.js file so let's move to the next video